He's very supportive of young artists and uh, willing to give them a hand or share his knowledge with them. He's a very good actor and his support for the, the industry is um, it's, it's really fantastic. His direction's always been really open. Um, he definitely has a trademark on stage to keep all props on and actors alive constantly. He's always having shows going on and they're always going off on tour. And then he's always doing his own things, directing and acting as well. Yeah, he's in very high demand and he's a very nice man. Like, he's very approachable and he's always so happy to help. My father's family is German and they're German cane cutters. They came out from Germany in 1910. And my mother's family is a bit different. They're a bit of everything. So um, I like to say that I'm a mongrel. But um, growing up in far north Queensland, I think the uh, interest in theatre and things uh, happened from a young age because in our neighbourhood we had a Christmas party every year where they'd shut down the street that we lived in and all the neighbours used to do different acts and the parents did all these different acts in the show. As kids we thought that was amazing. Um, so we used to make our own shows and sometimes I would even um, uh, make a, um, a haunted house for kids to come over and, and we, would, we, would, we would charge them money to come through <laughs> the little haunted house so that I think uh, I started early in bossing other people around, yeah. <laughs> Mainly gr growing up I wanted to be an actor and I became a professional actor when I was about uh, 18, 19. So acting really for me was the focus. And I think it does, re and ac actors do really sit at the core of what theatre is. Um, I mean the director is a modern invention in a way. Before that actors really organised themselves and ran all the stuff themselves. Um, we know from Shakespeare's time that the actors were involved in every um, facet of theatre. I guess that's the thing that interests me the most. Um, so obviously acting then led to uh, directing, um, writing, those, those sorts of things um, because I think to be well-rounded is, is what theatre is really about. I think it is the most satisfying medium because you have to work the hardest. There's nothing easy about uh, theatre. There's no guarantee it's all going to come together. Uh, Whereas in film and TV, you rely on someone else for your performance. You rely on the editor or um, how the director shapes the performance after in post. Um, there is no post in theatre, there's just now, this moment. And I sort of like that it is transient, that it exists only for a moment in time and then no one will ever see that thing again. It just exists in a room with those people and then you'll never ever see it again. Um, I think there's something really special in that. All I know is that we are the law. We wait. We are the law. Do not protest. We are brought to death. There's no denying it. A diversion comes along. And what do we do? We let it go to waste. Come, let's get to work. In an instant, all will vanish and we'll be alone once more. In the midst of nothing, yes. We are all born mad. Some remain so. When I was considering being the artistic director of the Green Tonic Theatre Troupe, I thought long and hard about how I would reinvent the company in a way. And I wanted to change um, the way that w we s interacted with our audience. The audience now is really into visual literacy. You know, people talk about digital natives and all that generation. Um, I really wanted to kind of tap into that. Uh, we initially started with a vision mixer on stage and actors operating a vision mixer and two different kind of cameras, small cameras that go in model aeroplanes, um, filming other actors, switching between those uh, vision channels, uh, using um, recorded sound. And we basically scaled that down to a, to a model where 
you can see the actors push cues on stage, you see the vision play, generally that's what we do. Every year we have a photo shoot for our brochure which goes to schools. Uh, in that brochure is obviously it's, it's selling, it's marketing material that goes to the school but we have a good time. And this year we're going to have a, a Mustang car that we're going to shoot some of the photos in. There was a lot of push on to do a, a main stage production. People really wanted us to do uh, some kind of fringe stuff around Brisbane. Uh, but I said, hang on, we'll, 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 we're going to plan a really big production. And so one of the main things we did was took us about three years to co-produce with the Queensland Theatre Company on a million dollar plus production of Macbeth with um, international director Michael Attenborough. And so that was one of the big outcomes that we did. and. Uh, that's really as a celebration, our 40 years, a celebration of the company and the, for the audiences of Queensland and um, the actors who have given time to the company over, over the years. It hurts! Huh, hurts! She wants to know if it hurts! You might uh, button it all the same. Mm, true. <laughs> Never neglect the little things of life. Oh, what do you expect? You always wait to the last moment. Last moment. One of the things we do to um, help young actors get work is creating work, giving young actors full-time work over a 10-month period is kind of unheard of in the industry. Your contracts are usually sort of two months, uh, uh, three months at most, that kind of thing. It's uh, important for young actors to get a lot of what I call flying hours so, so that they can uh, get as much experience as they can. And this is a really good way to do that, to develop those young actors. Then they go on to do other things um, and I tend to keep a, a friendship and a mentoring role open. Jason's really open to new opportunities. If you want to approach Jason for um, some opportunities that you're looking for, Jason's always really open to suggest um, venues to come along to. When I had Jason as a teacher, it was it was quite honestly probably the 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 best time of my life I've, I've had as part of the industry. Like it was just very honourable because um, last year when we were doing a play called Orbit, uh, I. Jason said to me one time, the proudest and biggest thing he thinks he's ever done was doing Orbit with us. And like, I was just so honourable, you know, like I look up to him like crazy. So it was really great to hear that. I work a lot with um, young people in making their uh, performance possibilities a reality. One of the things I've had a hand in over the f past few years um, is with the Queensland Theatre Company. They have a youth ensemble program. I'm working with a group that are 15, 16 year olds. Uh, every Wednesday night they have contact with me and we um, talk about acting, we work on their acting skills. Such as improvisation, we work on devising a lot of the performance. Basically I give them a structure and a form to work from and then some content. But mostly what they do is they put together themselves uh, with me guiding them uh, their own performance. Very good though. And I like the attitude in it, so he was doing that. You know? So there was immediately a story was starting to happen. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a narrative out of nothing, pretty much. My advice for people who want to get into the acting profession or young actors who are starting out is that really you need to be eclectic. So you need to experience um, a wide range of things. You need to be going to the theatre to see um, theatre productions. You need to be seeing a whole heap of film. You need to be listening to a lot of diverse music. You need to be reading a lot of diverse um, books, not just about theatre, but about literature and all those things. You need to be engaging with um, not just your limited experience or your Facebook friends or your friends in circles, groups of circles. You need to be getting out and getting as diverse an experience as you can so that you can recall on those things to act on. <laughs>